Hi, I'm William Dietrich, and my new book is called The Barbary Pirates. It's an adventure story set in 1802, and it features my hero, Ethan Gage. Uh, it's a fourth book in the series, and this time Ethan is in the Mediterranean. Ethan has really two quests. Uh, one is to find an ancient weapon called the Mirror of Archimedes. Uh, this is taken from actual uh, legendary history in which the Greek mathematician Archimedes supposedly built a mirror that was a death ray and set Roman ships on fire during the siege of Syracuse about three centuries before the birth of Christ. And so ever since people have wondered uh, whether this legend is true and how such a mirror might have been constructed. The Ethan Gage books were inspired by my interest in really the beginning of the modern age, the end of the 18th century and the beginning of the 19th century. Uh, this was the start of the Industrial Revolution. Uh, it was really uh, the start of the Scientific Revolution. And it was even the start of Political Revolution. When I researched my books, I tried to travel to the locales where they take place. Uh, for Napoleon's pyramids, for example, uh, I visited Egypt and went through the pyramids. In the Rosetta Key, I traveled to Israel and Jordan, the setting of those books. The city of Accra still looks very much like it did in Ethan's Gage Day. I traveled to the Great Lakes region for uh, the Dakota Cipher. For the Barbary Pirates, I visited the uh, Greek island of Santorini, which is uh, the remains of an ancient volcano that erupted in the early history of civilization. Uh, besides that, I do a tremendous amount of reading. Uh, most of my fiction books are the product of reading uh, maybe uh, four dozen uh, nonfiction books about the history of the time. I do a lot of internet research, and I try to find original accounts, things written about that period by people of that time, because I find that they provide detail and color that you really don't get in more conventional histories. So I then try to uh, weave all this together. Uh, but always keeping in mind that the uh, story is paramount and that you're trying to uh, keep it fast moving and as exciting as possible.